In this video today, I'm going to show you a trick that I have been using to straighten or level all my images when the horizon isn't so obvious. What is happening people? My name is Gaurav and I'm a travel and a wedding photographer based in Birmingham, England. So I like shooting a lot of street photography and it's not always possible to get the horizon bang on every time you shoot in camera the first time. This can however be corrected in post-production but a lot of the times it's not quite obvious where the horizon actually is. I'm going to show you a little trick that I use to correct this issue and furthermore I'm going to show you why this actually works. So let's just dive into Lightroom quickly and I'll show you an example. And let's just take this image for example that I captured in Tokyo, Japan. As you can see something isn't quite right in this image. Well it's not leveled and you can tell because the buildings in the background aren't exactly straight. But like I said I'm going to show you a little trick that I use to correct this. Now naturally what you're going to get is if you're shooting from a lower angle that the buildings on the edge, this one here and this one here are going to be leaning inwards which means the building right in the middle should be absolutely straight. Let me demonstrate this. So let's just go and hit the crop tool here. We're going to picture an imaginary line running down the center of the image here. And we're going to try and level that with the building in the background here, because that's the building that's right in the middle. So here we go. If I start to rotate this, you can see this line right in the middle. And we're just going to try and level that with the lines of the building in the background, just the middle line. That's it. It's as simple as that. Now you can see how the buildings on the side are leaning inwards. However, the building in the middle is absolutely straight. And that's what you want to aim for. Because in this sort of scenario, the horizon isn't actually quite obvious. So if we were to go back to the crop tool and get the straighten tool. So this is the horizon pretty much. We can see in the background, this bridge going here. If we was to level with the bridge in the background, it doesn't quite do the trick. Let's just undo that. So that's why it's important to make sure the building running down the center of your image is absolutely straight. There we go. You can see that line here in the middle and that's matching up with the lines of the building in the background. Let's just go to the before and that's the after. A huge difference as you can see. Let's have a look at another example. Just for a visual cue, I've drawn a line at the dead center of this image just so you can see what's happening. Let's just go and hit the crop tool again. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the red line in the center is absolutely straight with the grid that you're about to see. So let's just rotate that. There we go. Now this image is absolutely level, even though the horizon isn't so obvious. I'm just going to do it before. And here's the after. One thing you got to be sure of is if you are cropping this image. So for example, if I was to crop this image, now the center line has changed to here. Now I've got to make sure the building in the background here is level with the center line of my crop tool. Although it looks okay, I can promise you it's not straight. So let's just go and hit the crop tool and make sure the line of the building in the background is absolutely straight with the grid line in the middle. There we go. This will work at 99% of the time, unless of course you're capturing a building like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, which you know isn't straight. So it will be pointless to level that building with the center line of your crop tool. Let's just take one more example before I finish this video off. And this is not an easy one. So here we have another image that I captured in Tokyo. And with this one, the, even the center line isn't quite obvious. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up the grid tool. And if I attempt to rotate, it will give us more of the lines for the grid tool. And if you have a look at the lines at the bottom here at the image, we're going to try and level these ones here with the ones running down the center of the crop tool. And let's just go ahead and rotate this. And there we go. Now that image is leveled. That's the before and that's the after. So minor tweaks, but a huge difference to the end result. I hope this makes a huge difference when you're editing and even something to keep in mind when you're capturing the photos in camera. But this tutorial was just to give you a demonstration 
if you didn't get the chance to do that so i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial guys and if you gained any sort of benefit from this video be sure to give me a thumbs up below that would help the youtube algorithm promote this video further up the ranks so other people can benefit from this knowledge thanks for staying till the end again and as always i'll catch you in the next one